Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Erling Holland to review. Again, they should have given him five star skills considering this is the end of FIFA, but it is what it is. Uh, six foot four, high low work rates, left footed, four star skills, five star weak foot. Uh, to be honest with you guys, this guy is a physical type striker for sure, but... He is actually one of the most fun cards I've used from the versions before, the Team of the Season card. If you actually watch that review, yeah, obviously you got to work with the dribbling sometimes, but he was great to use. Love the way that he, his running animation is the special thing, right? He just has that like bulldozer running animation that's just really, really cool to work with. Uh, this card has the finesse shot trait. He has the outside foot shot trait. At this point in the game, it's very important. Will he be super consistent at hitting them? We'll obviously see, because with dribbling being a little bit tougher on these types of cards, uh, obviously... Uh, no, we... Do we give him an engine still? I mean, it's weird that you don't give a pay... Well, you got a plus one for the pace boost. A plus one for the pace boost. Okay. Engine. Plus one for acceleration. Balance, agility, and dribbling, those three, you gotta, you gotta update. Like, it's just very, very important uh, because you also give them some passing capabilities with the high lows. Yeah. 95 heading accuracy with 96 jumping, so you can actually win the ball in the air with him, too. Speed dribbler, CPU, AI, trade, set play specialist. Yeah. And then for physical stats, he's already in the mid-90s, high-90s area as well. So it could be like a Lewandowski type of card as well, you know? Um, I, I do think that they're both different. I really think that both body types make them play different in a way, right? It's just the play style on the pitch. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what he's like. Hopefully he's a decent card. I'm going to go ahead and get him and I'll show you guys how we line him up in game. Okay, guys. So, uh, we're going to be using Erling Holland in this cheeky little EPL team. Thank you, Gyu. You're the best. Uh, let's go ahead and give him the engine chemistry style. Okay. Cool beans. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll be using the 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, Erling Holland, Richarlison, Lucas Mora. Yeah, we'll do it like this. It's not perfect with St. Maximin, but... Or actually, we'll just do this. Yeah. Because the this 4-1-2-1-2, and and it requires to have, like, certain players. But it's fine. We can make this work like this. And then we'll have Erling Holland up top. We'll switch him as well the right-sided positions. Yeah, okay, let's go try him out. Oh, Erling Holland is massive. <laughs> He's so big, dude. Oh, he actually almost scores that. Okay, Holland, I see you. I see you, my boy. Not bad, eh? Because of how big he is, he can get like really tough angles for headers. Oh, it was a really well-weighted pass though. Lucky. You know what? His dribbling is actually not that bad. Like he has like really good sharp dribbles on him. Oh, almost, almost. Work the small dribbles here and there. Yeah, small little touches. There we go. Well done, Holland. Get that near post angle. Oh, Ruben Diaz with the interception. I would have had that there too. I was going for that first time volley. No, how do I hit the post, EA? Come on, man. You just let me score that. I timed that so perfectly, too. Nice, we got that one, though. Well done. Let's go. Let's go, Holland. Oh, dude, that was a well-weighted pass, too. That's so unlucky.
Let's go, Holland. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh, dude, he pulls his goalkeeper out at the perfect time. I wish the pass was a little bit better there. Holland was making a fantastic run. Oh, I didn't register the roulette. Come on, I had him there too. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Holland. Well done. I try a lot past there. I feel like in this game, the meta, like doing the ball roll driven, it just makes more sense, honestly. Oh, if it wasn't for him getting that small little touch right there, easy lob pass. Oh, I thought he's going to bulldoze his way through that tackle there. Like, I'm aiming it to the bottom right, right? Oh, he's offside. But even still, you know, like, come on. Oh, I was a good cross too, unlucky. Well, he's going to get that every time. Touch, shoot. Yeah, not a high percentage strike, but we try those anyways. You can see that his high-low work rate is working really well with his running animation. Like, really, really solid. Nice, we'll take that play. Good job. Need the goals with the Brazilians, so... Yeah, so the turn back, that's where you're going to notice those emphasis touches a little bit more because those are like super heavy. Oh, yeah, it's a penalty. Let's go. We kind of baited that in the way. It's kind of funny. Let's see. Erling Holland, 95. We'll take that. Oh, the reach, that was so close. No, get the header. Oh, I wish he jumped higher. Yeah, so the dribbling, like, you could definitely work with. It's it's not completely horrible, you know? Obviously, with him being a physical striker, it'll be w rough to work with sometimes. No, dude, the guy comes out of nowhere to block this shot. Oh. Oh. Good way to use his body there, though. I wish he was the guy that went near post in this situation, because he's not for some reason. I'm going to push him there, though. And then bang! Aw. Oh. Ness? I try finesses, but uh, shaky in those situations. And the AI blocks it. Oh, it's so irritating, man. Nice. Let's go. You always got to hope for those lob passes where you can just go for a header right away. Super, super helpful. Let's go. That's why Cancelo is one of the best cards in the game. What a beast. Super noticeable high low. Let's go. Get that touch on the inside. Good. Touch again. Ah. I should just use my body ahead and just kept pushing forward there.
Dude, that is a crazy header. He's offside, but the fact that I can even try to hit those is sick. Yeah, see, I, I knew he was making that run on the inside, so that's why I wanted to take a first-time quick touch with the driven pass. Oh, this game's responsiveness is horrible. Absolutely horrible. You guys just see what St. Max just did right there? Um, look at my thumbstick and look at what he did. Oh, he still almost got it, even though he was off balance. Let's go. Good play, boys. Good play. Oh, almost, almost. Working some spaces here and there. No, dude. I didn't expect him to do a chip cross there. I, I wasn't even going for that. Okay, so that's a regular finish on his uh, right foot. No timing on it. That's why uh, I always tell you guys every single review, like if you don't go for high percentage strikes, like I try different things, but in this game, like you could just have to. Oh, I wish. You do have to wake the extra pass there though, for sure. There we go, well done, well done. We'll take that. Oh, it won't be it won't be a foul. He has to just go around the player there. I don't know. I, I don't know what's these what these unnecessary mechanics are for. Oh man, unlucky. Oh, this game is just so like ugh. Oh, I honestly thought that was going to be like a clean header by him. Not going to lie. Uh, Dude, Courtois, I don't know what you just did right there. Nice shots. There we go. It's hard to get the greens on him because of him being a physical type striker. You got to get used to it a little bit, but great strike. Dude, what is what are these animations, EA? What is that? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Erling Holland card. So today is a confusing day uh, because with this card, it almost feels like they should have been switched knowing how EA does things. But honestly, I like the way that they did things today because you know why? Erling Holland's card feels more like a gameplay objective card. And then Gabriel Jesus feels like the card that they would release as a Friday SBC. You know what I'm saying? So, hey... This is like one of the very, very few times I do something like this. I think the only time. I can't remember a time where it actually felt like this. So GG's on getting Gabriel Jesus as a gameplay objective. But guys, with Erling Holland's card, you unlock this SBC um, if you enjoy using physical type strikers with a better work rate on the high low, right? With Erling Holland, that running animation that he has to get in behind the defense and go for some strikes uh, is really cool to work with. I'm definitely not going to say it's not. But at this point in the game, it's probably not going to be the meta type of card that people are looking for. Like, you really have to enjoy using these types of cards. Uh, I will admit that I think I enjoyed using the Lewandowski card more than this Erling Holland uh, with the specific things that they changed because it was also a card that was four star, uh, five star capabilities. This card, if you guys haven't seen, right? So this card right here, um, cheaper card, plays for Barcelona. So obviously... Uh, nice little links there, but obviously Premier League tax with the Man City players is kind of crazy. Uh, is Erling Holland still good enough to use in this game? Yes, they have improved him to the point of being uh, a pretty meta card. Obviously, if you like working with physical type players, uh, he is going to be really cool to work with because like I said, that high low work rate with running animation is very noticeable. But with the quality that he offers in game, he feels like the gameplay objective card more than he feels like the SBC type player, right? So Again, this card does stray away from the meta of the game, obviously. Uh, you could still make him work. He still does some really cool things from time to time. Obviously, that physical presence definitely helps out a lot when it comes to scoring certain headers and stuff. So that is, if that is your play style, then obviously go for it. But 
Um, yeah, because he's a taller physical type player and he, the dribbling is sometimes rough to work with, but then sometimes pretty good on that sharp dribble, getting those outside, you know, box angles for those finesse shots, you kind of have to time in certain ways for you to actually get them. But if he does, obviously having the 99 shooting stats is really helpful. But as you guys can see with the finishing in this game, you still got to go for high percentage strikes because that's just how FIFA works, right? So um, yeah, not the craziest SBC, but I enjoyed using him for what it was. Like I said, I enjoyed using Lewandowski's card more for the physical type strikers. But yeah, very... I'm confused that EA did that with gameplay objective and SBC, you know, like co considering how they are. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.